Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. How is everyone doing? Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about a TV show, DC's Titans, Season 1. I really enjoyed the show. This will be no images, no spoilers. Just my thoughts on the overall arc of Season 1. The premise I really like, and I was surprised because one of my favorite characters in comic books is... Richard Grayson, Dick Grayson, the first Robin. Uh, I believe he was first appearances in 1940. The show is based off the Teen Titans, who eventually in the comics formed the Titans when they got older, and younger comic book characters would take over the Teen Titans. It was his first departure from being Batman's sidekick for the many years. So being a beloved character... When they portrayed him, I said immediately, this is not my Robin. I did not like his portrayal. However, if you make a good show, I think that makes all the difference. Because it didn't matter that it's not my Robin or it's a amalgamation of story arcs and they focus on a, one that's a little more um, brutal, let's say. So it didn't matter. I didn't care. The show won me over. The main characters, the cast, work well. They fit the characters, in my opinion. Some are standouts. I love the uh, actress who plays Starfire. The show has a good momentum to it. It could be a little brutal. It has a very good way of bringing costumes into the shows. This is hard to do, I think. But I think if you don't really worry about it too much and you let the actors and the characters portray the, the uh, images from the comic books I think it lends a little more to my childhood it resonates with me more I enjoy the way they use flashbacks which is rare or it's hard when, when it's done well it's good but it can be overdone the story's pretty good Especially when it really focuses on a new um, threat, so to speak. It is not affiliated with the other WB shows from DC Comics. I don't believe so. It has 11 episodes for the first season. And like I said, the momentum is good. It carries you through. There's a lot of fun. Character growth is done pretty well. Special effects wise, if you call it, or stunt choreography is seems to be top notch. Or well, at least they put their money where they need to. And the fight scenes with characters who don't have abilities that are somewhat superpowered or superhuman. They do everything pretty well. Good blend. Lots of fun. Lots of um, little twists. I think it even uh, hinted or shows a spin-off, as I think the Doom Patrol was also something I might do a podcast on. One of the characters, Gar, or in the comics it was Beast Boy, in this adaption, it could be in the comic adaption too, I'm not sure, but he starts off with them. So without spoilers, without plot revelations and major events in the season i definitely would recommend people to watch it i think you'll have a lot of fun it like i said it wasn't a portrayal of robin that i was uh happy with at first but it matches the tone of the show the story is done very well the writing um editing nitpicks might be the way they chose to put the episodes out and leave things hanging for a little bit. You've got 11 episodes and you're focusing on certain characters. They might come and go. It might seem a little jarring. But that's really it. 
Um, I don't think I could say the nitpicks and things that I didn't like are going to change the score of the show or the quality. And that happens in some things, I'll admit. But this seems to be something I look forward to for season two. I'm even probably going to watch the Doom Patrol. There are a lot of characters that are going to be added in, I hear. And from what they did in season one, I'm real happy with it. Top notch. DC show puts out some good quality shows. Well, this is probably my favorite of them. I've talked a little bit about the WB shows on how I think they're above average and I like them, but they're not um, must watch. I'll fall behind in seasons. And Titans it was riveted, uh, carried you through the whole way, and keeps you wanting more. Maybe that's a debate also about length of seasons, so 11 episodes. I'll probably do some Marvel, Netflix thoughts, uh, podcasts on those shows. Anyway, watch the Titans. I think you'll like it. Give it a shot. If it's not your portrayal of characters, I think it's done well enough to merit giving it a, uh, you know, a shot. I'll watch at least three episodes and see if you get into it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.